The family of a slain Northumberland woman is opening up to 8 News after a man is charged with her murder. Arielle Smith's body was found last week, six days after she vanished. 8 News reporter Sabrina Shutters is live in the Digital Center for us with new details on this investigation and reaction from Smith's sister, Sabrina. Well, Deanna, Ariel Smith's sister Lydia says Ariel was only 28, only just beginning her life. Now she's heartbroken, but wants to raise awareness so this never happens to anyone else. Lydia Smith is still in shock knowing her sister Ariel is gone. People die in a car accident or they die because they're sick. Even the last two years, people suddenly die because they had COVID but nobody is just like snatched and murdered. Now Tyrone Samuel, originally charged in Ariel's abduction, is charged with first degree murder. Lydia is numb, but hopes justice will be served. Nothing gonna bring my sister back. Like, never gonna get the answer, why would you do something like that? Or, how, you know what I'm saying? I'm still gonna always ask, how could somebody do something like that? We've now learned Smith's body was found on the property where Samuel was living. Northumberland Sheriff Johnny Beecham says cell phone data and evidence inside Samuel's home led to the charges. The night Ariel was last seen, she was just closing up this convenience store and dumping the trash. Lydia wants to make sure what happened to her sister never happens to anyone else. I want to bring awareness to making sure that females in general are safe um, in the and everywhere that they are, regardless of what type of job they have. Samuel is said to be arraigned in court on Tuesday morning. A petition to create a mandate called Ari's Law has garnered more than 8,000 signatures. A friend of the family that created it hopes it will hold businesses accountable to make sure no one closes up a store alone like Ariel did the night she vanished. Live at the Digital Center, Sabrina Shutters, 8 News. A story will continue.